Hi everyone, welcome to Faith and Yoga at St. Bartholomew's. I'm Dixie, I'm here with my husband Fred, a visitor Claudette, Aaron Porter, and Pat Gobrat. So we welcome you all to Faith and Yoga. Well, there's a change in the air, and it certainly is a time for change that we're noticing in our world. This world is changing all around us, but God is an ever-present help for us. And especially when we take time to reflect on the scriptures and prayers. The verse I've chosen today is from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So once again, that was from Romans 12, 1 through 2. Yesterday in our regular class, um, I brought up a uh, a question, does anybody watch the TV show Jeopardy? And people did. And one of the questions or answers to the question was to alter or lose coins in the pocket. And of course the answer is, what is change? Aha! So, in the theme of TV game shows, Following Jeopardy in our local broadcasting around here, it's followed by Wheel of Fortune, right? And one of the topics there is, what are you doing? So if you ask a bricklayer, three different bricklayers, what are they doing? One might say, I'm laying bricks. The other one might say, I'm putting bricks together to build a building. And the third bricklayer may say, I'm building a church to bring people together to have a foundation and build a community. So I'm going to ask you, what are you doing when you're doing yoga? Are you just doing the motions? Are you doing the motions plus breathing? Or are you doing the motions, breathing, bringing in the faith and appreciating all the creative things God has done for you and building a community on it, inviting others to come. So, what are you doing when you do yoga? So let's get started. We have different things going along with the theme of change. We're gonna be using our chair, as we usually don't, and uh, we're gonna be using the mat also. So I invite you to join me in your chair. <clears throat> start with just simply breathing. So just settle into your chair. Take a deep breath in through the nose and as you exhale it, let your chin come to chest. Easing in, letting your shoulders relax, filling your back against the chair if that's comfortable for you. Next breath, once again, take a deep breath in. And exhale out, let your chin come to chest. Once again, a nice deep inhale in, filling your belly deep with air. And then exhaling it out. This time, see if you can fill your full lungs with breath, filling in, filling in, and exhaling out. Two more times on your own, readjusting your posture. Breathing in deep. Letting it 
breath in. If you have your eyes open, gently let your eyes open up. And next inhale, let your arms come up. Hands meet together and bring your hands to heart center as you exhale. Next inhale up. Hands come to heart center as you exhale. Inhaling up. Pausing at the top. Fingers intersect. Bring your arms up closer to your ears. <clears throat> Take a gentle lean to the left. Come back up to center and then lean to the right. Back to center. We're going to do a little turn, so sit up straight in your chair. Do a little turn to the left. And back to center. And turn to the right. Good. Back to center. Gentle back bend, looking up. And then coming full forward all the way down as if to do a seated forward fold. Hands are still clasped. And when your hands get down to the floor, let them relax. Let that head hang heavy. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Let your fingers relax. And then gently let yourself roll up. And we're going to work on our hands a little bit. With this uh, little bit of cold snap, uh, when I find myself knitting and crocheting at, or even chopping a lot of vegetables, there's a particular finger that gets stiff and sore. So if it's happening to me, maybe it's happening to some of you too. So just for now, just put your hands out in front of you. And we're just going to, without uh, being tight with them, we're just going to open and then kind of flex them up. Open and flex them up. That's ten. Now, in the spirit of Halloween, can you make your fingers like their claws, but just don't make them too tight? So make a claw with your hands and then open them up. Claw. Okay, now give them a little shake. And then bring them out in front of you to an imaginary piano, keyboard or organ, or flute. <laughs> and let yourself fly here a little bit. And then bring them back up in front of you. We're going to touch our index finger to our thumb, middle to thumb, ring finger, and pinky. is almost hypnotic. <laughs> One more time. Good. And let yourself shake. Good. All right. So we're going to come back and work on our neck a little bit. So we're going to do just a little circle to the left and then to the right. Just a little half circle. And then next time, you come over to the left side and let your head go all the way around if your neck permits. And we'll do that three times. 
and when you've done your third, then reverse and go the opposite direction. <coughs> And then once again, stopping at three. And then just doing a little bit of realignment, moving your shoulders around a little bit. And we're going to take our right ear toward our right shoulder. So just do a little lean over there to that side, and then the other. having your uh, self realigned. We're going to bring our shoulders back and down, rolling them back and down. For a total of five times. And then reversing and bringing them forward for five times. to stillness again, and let your head kind of work itself a little bit from side to side. And then bring your arms out in front of you. <clears throat> With your right hand, uh, grasp your left uh, arm by the elbow and gently pull it across your chest. And let your fingers have a little bit of motion here as well. We're going to hold it here. Breathing in deep, and out, down, and then releasing that, and then that arm come out again, and doing that same with the opposite arm, running across your chest, moving the fingers, breathing in, and out. are out in front of you. We're going to open up uh, to the left here. Open your arm, chest opener all the way. Turn in your chair a little bit so you can get the full extension. And then back to center. And then the same with the opposite arm. Back to center. And two more times. Gaze looks back at your right thumb. Center and last time. And bring your hands into heart center. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhaling and let your chin come to your chest. Good. Once again, just a little shake with the arms. The arms come up, and knee. Arms are up over the ears. We're going to do a lean to the left, and then we're going to scoop it down around, all the way around. One more time in this direction. Let's pause here and reverse it. And you're up. And you can let your arms back down again. Once again, mind like they need to shake. So if you need to shake, and now put your hands, so your hands are on your knees and your posture's really nice and straight. Like if you had a string on your head, it would be attached to the ceiling, like a puppet. So we're going to do seated cat cows here. So if you need to open up your legs a little bit here, you can. So for cow, you want to pull your chest forward as you breathe in. For cat, you want to round your spine. 
and go back. So inhale, cow, chest comes forward. Exhale, cat, around the spine. find that if you don't do uh, chair yoga on a regular basis, you'll find that even though it's different from standing, you're still using a lot of muscles and building the core, even though it feels different and seems different. So we've got warmed up from here to here, so we're going to start working on our legs. We're just simply going to do a lift here. So starting with the left leg, foot is flexed, up, and then alternating with the right. Hands can be wherever you want them, wherever it's comfortable. My goal is to have eight here. So it's three. Halfway there. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do some toe lifts here, and then we're going to lift our heel. Yeah, our, our toes up for heel lifts. So we go up for toes, back for heels. Up for toes, back for heels. And let's do four more times this one. Now, once again, realign yourself. We're going to take a breath in, arms go up. We're going to hinge up the waist forward. Our feet are separated, and our hands come down in between. The right hand's going to plant down or touch down with our fingertips, and the left arm is going to come up. Gaze looks up. And then return it back down. Place the left hand down, and the right hand rises up. Good. And then reversing again. And one more time. And then bring yourself back up. A big breath, arms go up. Hands meet together. Fingers intersect, flip the hands so the knuckles are toward the head, turn towards your left, back to center, turning to the right, back to center, baby back bend, back to center, and then um, return the hands and slowly let your hands come down in front of you. All right, well what we're going to do now, I'm going to have Fred come up and he's going to show us uh, a few moves using the chair and then we'll proceed on with the rest of our flow. So come on up Fred. Yeah, turn the chair sideways here so it makes it a little bit as far as perspective for the viewing audience. Uh, first thing we're going to do is a raised plank and a march. So you place your hands on the top part of the back of the chair, have your gaze forward, step back maybe one step, and we're going to do the march. So we will lift our right knee up, push it back down, Inhale, in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale.
second position you're going to do is a standing bicycle. So you stand next to your chair, having that handy in case you would tip from one side or the other. Bring those arms up and cactus arms or goalpost arms. Have your knees slightly bent. And you'll just take a bend down with your right elbow and left knee. Raise back up. Left elbow, right knee. And back up. Remember to breathe. straighten your back, try to keep those shoulders back a little bit. So we're going to do eight of each of these. So we're going to toe lift, and then we're going to come back on heel. So that's one. Toe lift. Two. steps. You don't think of stepping backwards unless you're dancing with a partner and you're doing some ballroom dancing, but stepping back is an important move for your mind and your body, and it uses different muscles from going forward. So we're simply going to step back, and then we're going to step forward. So that's one. Step back, step forward. You, but I had to make my mind step that left leg back. It only wants to step my right leg back. So it's important to do that. The next one is hip hinges. So just like when Fred was showing us the plank, you want to step back a little bit. Have your hands on there. And for hip hinges, you just go back and forward. There's one, two, already done our heel lifts, but marching steps. 
And once again, if you need to hold on, fine. If you don't, that's okay too. But just, there's one, alternating, two, One more, nine, and can you lift it a little higher? And down, and up, and a little higher, and down. Great job. Another one you don't think of, but I notice when babies are starting to learn how to walk, they do some of this, the sideways stuff, which is fun to watch, but we don't step sideways. I'll do it again, just in case you missed it. It's a sideways step, and then step back over. Out of breath with that extra step up. So I'm going to take a deep breath in and out, and now let's do our sideways steps. So it's going to be step to the side, step back, that's one. Step to the side, step back, two. Three. Four. Something else to do with. I'm going to pick up my phone here. Uh, friends that are here with me today, if you could put a shoe or something down that you're able to step over, put it down, and then align yourself beside it. And we're going to step over and then step back. It's a lot like stepping to side, but being mindful that you have to lift your feet. So step up, and back. Two, Those of you who have children or pets, maybe you're stepping over toys or stepping over kitty cats or little dogs, or big dogs for that matter. Okay, well here's another one with the walk direction. And once again, it's walking backwards. So we're going to take a step backwards, one, two, three steps backwards, and then three forwards. And then walk backwards again. And forward. And backwards. And backwards. And <clears throat> halfway there. chair exercises I have today. So if you want to take a moment and pull your chair aside or readjust and we'll move on and I'll meet you on the mat.
And so since this is a transition of our body too, this is a little reading that I found that I want to share with you. In this transition or this time, we can find peace in the newness of what is to come. It is a newness that is familiar, one we await each year, but it is a newness all the same. So just like today, we didn't have our regular setup of being on the mat right away. We changed things up a little bit with the chair and a different pace. Falls like that too, the change of autumn. And just the way the world is right now, we're transitioning all the time, looking for peace and uh, some comfort in the world. So once again, meet me on the mat in an easy seated position. <clears throat> Whatever is most comfortable for you. And we're going to start once again with some breathing. Breathing in. Arms go up. Exhale, bring them to your chest. Breathing in, arm goes up. Palms knee. Exhale down. Breathing in, arms go up. Exhale down. Bring your hands to the left side of your thighs while you're seated, and let's turn around, gaze looking over to that left shoulder as we twist. Take a deep breath in, and out. Another breath in, and out. Returning to center. Once again, breathe in, arms go up. Fingers touch. Exhale, bring your hands <clears throat> to heart center. This time, hands come along the side of your right thigh, turning and twisting, looking over that shoulder. Breathing in, and out. Another breath in, and out. Returning to center. <clears throat> We're going to take a breath in, arms go up. As we exhale, we're going to lean over onto our left side. Inhale back up. Exhale to the right side. Inhale up. Nice big breath in, stretch up, reach those hands up. Cactus back your arms. Take a twist to your left, back to center, to your right, 